Today, I turn into a self-help guru. Oh, and hey, I'd like to point out this video's awesome sponsor, Skillshare.com, which offers thousands of classes in design, coding, business, and more. For instance, you're about to watch my video about success, but you could watch this full course on the topic here at Skillshare. Now, Skillshare is just 10 bucks a month, but if you're the first 200 students to use my very exclusive link below in the description here in YouTube, then you get the first two months free. All right, so let's get started. So I get a lot of beginner designers showing up on my videos, my YouTube uh, comments, asking questions. And I have to say, I have a hard time sometimes understanding where they're coming from simply because it's been 20 years in my case since I've been a beginner in this industry. Because for me, when I go to design something, it's effortless and that's the goal, right? I mean, that's the goal in any industry or any skill or trade that requires a lot of work um, and expertise. I don't care if you're, you wanna be a carpenter or a guitar player, whatever. Um, and that's the, that's, that's the goal. Um, and so, you know, a lot of times designers that are beginner designers, they'll submit their portfolio for me to review on my Friday live shows and I can spot a million things wrong with them. And I'm sure in pretty much all their cases when I give a lot of feedback, and I always do it in a constructive way, of course, still, it sucks. Uh, it sucks to fail. Uh, and, and that's the thing, that's the whole purpose of this little quick talk that I wanted to give. Um, because recently, myself, I've had this realization because I've been a beginner. And not in this industry, it's something new for me. I, at the beginning of 2018, I put myself into the position of essentially what would be a beginner. Uh, and, and the thing that I wanna get really good at takes years of practice. So first and foremost, the most important tip is to be consistent if you wanna be successful at something. You have to work at it every day. I have that right off the bat. I knew that was going. That was what it was going to take. Um, and and you know, I conditioned myself to, to work on this particular thing every freaking day and I have I've uh, for a good you know eight and a half months now um, the other thing that didn't really jive with me until recently is this idea of failure um, so I'm gonna put this in the context of you know designers and maybe coders or whatever although it's applicable to anything um, right now at any given point in time I Let's say you're a new designer um, and, and you want to become a great designer, obviously. You look at other people's work, whether it be web apps um, or you know phone apps, and you look at these UI designs or whatever, and you're really inspired. You want to be able to make the best of the best. Well, there's many other people exactly in your same shoes, thousands of beginners, and you're all in this pool, and you're all trying to get better. Uh, and inevitably, all of you are going to experience the same failures that come along with trying to be great at something. It's, a, it's inevitable. So the first step is to accept that failure is a part of the game. Um, a, a lot of young people, and they're not quite experienced, those are the people that drop off right away at the first sign of failure because they think it's too hard, there's no way, you know, this is, this is insane, I suck, whatever. Um, and then, there's a next level up. There's people who understand that there's failure, that failure is a part of the game, but still they shut down when it gets too hard and maybe they don't have the patience to, to, to keep consistently working and improving themselves and beating those failures. And then there's next level up. And I think I just got there myself with my own endeavor, my recent endeavor, and that is to welcome failure. And so here's one of how I want you to start looking at it. Uh, I'm going to put this in the context of a designer. Um, let's say, for instance, you know, you've been, you took my advice from one of my previous videos and, you know, you're, you're copying designs just for the sake of building muscle memory and, and training your brain to understand what good design is and what it takes to create good design. Um, and then you go to design your own portfolio or your own website or maybe for uh, your, your very first client or something like that. And the end result is it turns out like crap. All right. And, and if it's your first design, it's not going to be on par with, you know, the, 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 the top UI designers in the world. It's not. It's pretty much an impossibility. Um, when, when that happens and these types of failures happens, I, you need to look at it as a massive opportunity because... At any point in time, all those other pool of designers, they're, they're experiencing the same failures. 
you need to look at that as an opportunity because many of them are going to quit. Uh, is it going to be you? Well, no. If you embrace failure and you look at it as an opportunity to better yourself and to, to get over that hump and to stay consistent, you know that the further you progress, the less competition you're going to have and the closer to the top that you're going to be. Because here, here's the thing. I don't care what the failure is or what the issue is you're facing that's you know getting you disappointed or discouraged and, and thinking that perhaps this is too hard. I'm never going to be as good as I want to be. There's resources online that will help you so much um, between YouTube and all of the various uh, design channels. You have myself, a million other channels that will help you. I, uh, if you do a search for a specific issue that you're facing, um, you also have what Udemy and you have a thousand different courses. You have Pluralsight, you have lynda.com, you have LinkedIn learning. Uh, you have all the different social groups out there. You have Facebook groups dedicated to, de to designers and coders. Uh, you have Reddit, you have discord servers, you have so many many tools at your disposal and it, it, so it's insane to think that oh this particular issue that I'm facing I, I I can't beat it no 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 you can it's just a matter of applying yourself and getting out there and, and tackling the issue at hand and so look at failure this is what I want to do this I'm gonna stop ranting look at failure as an opportunity you need to welcome failure and if you keep sticking with it, you're going to beat it no matter what. And I've had to tell this to myself recently uh, because, you know, I have certain goals in my head and I, I try to I try to tackle them maybe too soon. And then I get discouraged and you're like, oh, it takes it takes the desire and motivation out of the equation a little bit. But once you realize that it is a process and that this failure is a part of the process, if you welcome it and you really train your brain to welcome it, then you're going to have less of those times where you feel like quitting or you feel like this is impossible. So that's what I, that's that's the main takeaway that I wanted you guys to walk away from this video. Start welcoming failure. Understand that it's a part of the process. I don't care if you want to be a designer or a great cook or anything. It's going to take time. Welcome those failures. I'll see you guys real soon. Goodbye.